Hey guys, Steve from PC Budget Solutions here, and with the launch of the RX 580, I decided to take a look at my RX 480 to see if AMD's claims from about a year ago that this card, which can be bought for a hair over $200, can actually game at 1440p. But I took it one step further, and that is I took a bunch of parts from around my office here and made essentially a $900 gaming rig. And we're going to take a look to see if $900 can, in fact, game at 1440p. So I don't want to give away some of my benchmarks yet. But if you see the system in front of you, I have the H100i disconnected. So I do have the stock cooler. I am still running overclock. So that's actually really interesting. I'm using my 16 gig kit of RAM right there. And you can see I have the RX 480 in there. And if you take a look... This would be the case that I would choose, and the power supply that's in it is actually a Corsair CX650M. And so when you tally everything up with cheaper memory, not the particular kit that I'm using, you're right at $900. So let's take a look at the benchmarks and let's see if AMD's claim holds true. So here's the total cost. You got the Ryzen chip at 220, got the board. 16 gig of DDR4 RAM is about 100 bucks. Got the Corsair CX650M. Got the Fantex P7 400 case. The RX 48 gig, very important. Even got an SSD and one terabyte HDD in it. So, came out to $900. So, let's find out what $900 out of your pocket, if you build it, can do at 1440p. So, in this setup, I had my R5 1600 at 3.9 gigahertz. 1.35 volts on the stock cooler and I topped that 82 degrees Celsius. That's fine. I want to keep it under 90. I would probably recommend an aftermarket cooler, but for my testing it was fine. And the RX 4A boosted all the way up to 1266 megahertz on the core, 8 gigahertz on the memory, and topped that 68 degrees Celsius. Now, no additional overclocking on the GPU. I just set the sliders up on the power target and temperature and let it go from there. So without further ado, let's get to these benchmarks. Now these benchmarks are both 1080p and 1440p because I know you guys like to watch both of them. So what I did was I ran high settings and extreme settings on Ashes of Singularity. And 1080p performed great on high settings, even 1440p, 53.1 FPS. On extreme settings, you start to see the GPU start to bottleneck a little bit, still averaging around 45 to 46 FPS at the two resolutions respectively. So overall, I would say so far AMD's claim does hold true. Let's take a look at For Honor. So in the case of For Honor, even on high settings versus extreme settings, 1440p, 67 FPS, perfectly for 1440p gaming. 1080p on both high and extreme performed very well at 107 and 77 FPS respectively. It did struggle on extreme settings at 1440p at 47 FPS average. So we're starting to see a little bit of a trend here, but the very last benchmark here, Ghost Recon's Wildlands, um, I think we're going to find out a little bit more towards our conclusion. So now we can actually see where the trend is going, and that is at high settings, 1440p, this GPU, the RX 480, is perfect for it, for cost to performance ratio. About 50, just shy of 50 FPS average on high settings of 1440p. Now, at 1080p, it actually managed in the mid-50s on very high settings, but even still stumbled on extreme settings when anti-aliasing and stuff like that's cranked up. So, this is the trend. Pretty much high settings, 1440p, this GPU is perfect. It's a great price performance ratio. So, let's look at the conclusion. Let's see what my final thoughts are on this particular GPU. So, conclusion time. Is the RX 480 a 1440p gaming GPU for less than 250 Yes. Not 100% yes, but I would still say yes overall. In Ghost Recon, it definitely had a little bit of trouble keeping up at 1440p, even at high settings. But in the other two tests, it did phenomenal, averaging over 60 FPS on second to highest settings. So I would say this GPU would fall into two categories. Basically, you happen to get a 1440p monitor on a cheap, and you want a game to not the highest settings, but middle to high settings, I think you'll have a great experience at 1440p. And if 
For anybody that's trying to play 1080p, 144 hertz, especially games like CSGO or any esports game, perfect for that. Even some of your newer titles. So I would go to say AMD's claim of being a 1440p gaming GPU. Yes, I 100% agree. VR ready, that's a little bit of a gray area. But thank you guys very, very much for tuning in. If you want to purchase anything seen in this video, links in the description below. You guys can find places uh, such as Amazon and King Wen to find the software and the hardware we use. But I really appreciate you guys tuning in. And this is Steve from PC Budget Solutions. I will see you later on down the road.